What is going on everybody? This is TGE. We're coming up to the Mersey Tunnels, the Queensway Tunnel in Birkenhead, the Wirral, with Audit in Yorkshire. What's going on guys? So as you can see, start of Mersey Tunnels bylaws, Birkenhead Tunnel, uh, prohibited traffic stop at Toll Plaza. Uh, I don't know whether you saw them there when you were coming through, when you were going through the tunnels, Kev. I did, yeah. So you can see it says start of Mersey Tunnels bylaws there. Oh yeah. Queen Queensway, this one's the Queensway tunnel. Tunnel police. The tunnel police, yeah. Tunnel police. Mersey tunnel Mersey Tunnels police. Mersey tunnel police, Hello. There's the Mersey Tunnels police over there's the one in their cars over there, look. Fast tag, auto, that one's close. And that building, that old style building but there, is the, that's their police station, I believe. Oh yeah. Is that one over there? So we're gonna have to get from there. over to that side. Right guys, that was unusual. So I swapped out the battery and the camera wouldn't turn on and I had to try it like twice and then it turned on. So, so uh, audit in Yorkshire's just down there. I can see the MTP over there, mate. Start of Mersey Tunnels bylaws was clearly signposted where the start of the bylaws are. As you can see, we're up by the MTP's police station. Uh, this is the Queensway Tunnel, just up here. Literally, police cars literally right by there. Mersey Tunnels Police. A walk round. There's an open gate. So this is, it doesn't say anything about bylaws on this gate here. I'm guessing this area has, look, no signs. It's wide open. There's the uh, Mersey Tunnels. So this is their police station, I believe. LGBT, LGBT friendly police. So this is the police station, yeah. <laughs> no, there's no signs, it's wide open, the gate is. Uh, yeah, guys. Publicly accessible. <laughs> so there's the MTP over there. Mersey Tunnels Police. Guessing because it's a police station, it's open to the public. Mersey Tunnel Police, please wait here for assistance. Let's have a little look. Have a little wander. So this is their police station here. Yeah. So uh, let's have a little look. So there's some stairs there. It's a corridor here. Yeah. So they're in this building, I think. This is the police station. Yeah, for the, for the traffic cones, that is. That's what they put on the traffic cones. Is that Merseyside Fire and Rescue? Ah. Fire, fire hose, is it? Possibly. So that's where the police can get in and out. Uh, Help for heroes, poppy appeal. No smoking, including e-cigarettes and all other electronic smoking devices. Yeah. There we are then, guys. So it's 
Ik heb het gegeven. No, no, well, no, I wasn't going to, I was just telling, uh, telling Kev that you're not supposed to go down there. Oh, oh no, I did go past Yeah, I was just telling my mate that you, you can't, can't down, really go down there, that's all. No worries. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I didn't even go down. I don't know. I was just, yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, it's a police car coming. Yeah, maybe it's the channel's place, I think it is. Oh, that's Mersey side police. That's Mersey side police. Yeah, that was Mersey side police. Right, I thought that was uh, the channel's place, Mersey side, it's a local force. Uh, four. Hello, how are we doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Can I just ask you to identify yourself, please? To identify myself? Yeah, can I just get your shoulder number? 381. Yeah. Thank you. What's up? Oh, just, just, <laughs> just yeah, let's go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, we're just literally uh, just making a story about the Mersey Tunnels. Uh, just wanted to find out a bit about your, uh, your force as well, a bit of the history, that's all. If you know any of it. Is it, is it the same as, are you part of Merseyside police or is it a separate division? Oh, separate. separate division? Mm -hmm. Alright, that's what we kind of want to know, like a little bit of background on it. Mm -hmm. So do you just work spe specifically on this tunnel? Yeah, so you don't, you don't go anywhere else? No, I'll just visit this tunnel on the other tunnel, that's it. Yeah, I know there's the Queensway tunnel, this one, and then the Kingsway tunnel, which goes to Wallasey as well, yeah. Oh, Wallasey? Wallasey. Oh, so you go between both of them, yeah? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so how long have uh, has it been, what is it, uh, managed by the police? It's always been managed by the police, so uh, we've got any yeah. private security around like that. Oh, that's cool. So, all the police. So, we were just taking a few pictures, uh, getting some, uh, you know, pictures on the SLR, getting a bit of video footage. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to check the drone assist that. That guy, who came over to us said we had to wait to speak to you about it. Uh, so we're going to check the drone assist. If there's no restrictions in the area, we're going to get a drone up. Just wondering if that were all right. Um, I just going to ask the comments to see if I have a drone in there. Like, yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no worries. Well, well, my drone's smashed to pieces, but you'll, you'll have to speak to him about it. He's, he's got the drone, he's a pilot today. <laughs> yeah. You are? Talking to monkeys at the moment. Yeah. Oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. But I'm, what I meant right. though, when it comes to the drone, you'll have to speak to him. Because I'm, I'm going to be the pilot in the drone, yeah. Is that alright? Oh yeah, as I say, it's private property. Well, that's, that's the thing, the private property that's only extends to the ground. You feel me? Yeah. Matters of public interest, mate. Yeah. People, are, people are interested in things like this, believe it or not. Yeah, 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 definitely. yeah. I mean, have you, have you ever seen the New Jersey tunnel? goes from New York to New Jersey, yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm going to be going through it next year, so, yeah, people love this kind of thing. Plus, it's quite unusual that the tunnels have got a police force to, yeah, to yeah. cover them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. obviously, because we, you know, we have fans all over the world, mate, so we might get somebody in Texas, for example. Uh, big shout out to Texas, I've got a very good uh, subscriber over there. He's always watching my footage, and he'll love this. He'll, he'll like, he will have never seen well, I presume an English tunnel before and interactions with police and stuff. So they love, they love that kind of thing, man. They love it. And that's the thing. The major again, the majority of people aren't going to know. Probably aren't going to know you exist yeah. as well. So, yeah, so we just like to see the thing. entertain people and uh, create really good content. Uh, we try anyway. Yeah. In, in between getting arrested, so calling <laughs> people puppets. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. funny story. So I thought, do you know Huddersfield? Well, in yeah, West Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah. So I called, it, I called the police inspector in Muppet and he arrested me for section 5 of the border. Unlawful You'll know that, he doesn't exist. He's been taken out of the public fight section all that. So, uh, but he arrested me, he arrested me because I hurt his feelings, bless him. Oh, you know, he's on brink to retirement and he was shaking a little bit and I think he might have been on some pills and all, possibly didn't take them that morning, which is why he would have been grouchy. But it is what it is, man. You know, yeah. we live and learn. Well, he's safe, well, anyway. 
for nearly 400,000 views worldwide. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's got a shot of that one, <laughs> Dyson. Yeah, Inspector Dyson. Dyson. Inspector Dyson. Inspector yeah. Dyson. Big up to Inspector Dyson. So, is that alright then if we just own what? We just plan on flying a drone and I have to take pictures. Right? Yeah, that's literally you it. better ask him. Just, um, I'm just going to have a quick quick look. Just going to take it up, have a quick look, get an aerial shot, and I'm going to bring it back down. That's literally it, because I know. Um, so you, you you control the the ground, you control the land, but you control things, control the airspace. Media. Yeah, your social media, that sort of thing. So, so commercial. Uh, yeah, post potentially, potentially. Cost us commercial film. I I'd say because we do it as private private citizens, it is in the in the public interest. It, it does it does come under a different category, but. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't say it's outright commercial because we're not part of any organisation. I think we do it as individuals. So. Uh, so I think it was a company just there standing before coming here, as usual. Yeah. Me? Oh, monkeys? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. I, I just turned up to be yeah, honest. He just, he's literally. I, I've done more research on the tunnels than. He just sent me a message and he's like, "Meet me in this place." So I just came. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, uh, it's good to have a shadow man, and on this occasion, I'm shadowing this man because. He knows more about bylaw legislation than I do. Um, so, you know, he's obviously more about the bylaws. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have an idea about this the bylaws office. anyway. So uh, I know, I know. There's um, like if we were to go down there, like that would be um, unauthorised. That like pedestrians on the tunnel. Yeah, well, to be so, honest, uh, right now, if we want to be pedantic over it, like right here, there's an authorised pedestrian. That's the point. If there's somewhere that's because it, it usually has to be. It usually has to be signposted. So we're, we're the. There's the we're plaza, so obviously this is like the. This is like the cost of the plaza and stuff like that. Mm. So we are stepping in with the pedestrian here. Yeah, yeah. But then again, there's a wide open gate and there's no yeah, sign yeah, to say no one authorised yeah, access or anything. There's barriers there, isn't there? Like there's barriers in the gate there. Yeah. There. What I would suggest. Yeah, but you can walk in from the main road, can't Yeah. Can I ask officer? Uh, well, constable, sorry. I'm trying to stop saying that, officer. Is, are you recording? Oh, I didn't think you were, because your screen's off, and I thought, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not complaining, but is it, is, it not in your, is it not in the police code of practice to record every every interaction with a member of the public? I mean, yeah. I, I know if someone's it's recording you. Yeah. yeah, so if you're recording me and you don't tell me, it's in your code of practice to tell me you have an obligation to. Yeah, well, as uh, you can see, I'm not. But, oh, yeah, that's not a problem. But yeah. what I don't know is if if you don't record, are you supposed to then? Do you know? Hmm. Um, well, that's a serious question. It depends. I think it depends yeah, in which, which scenario, to be honest. So it's just so if you feel that's what there's some of your colleagues there. Yeah, yeah. Like that, maybe it was I have had some officers who were who basically say, "Oh, yeah, I'm recording you. We have to record every interaction." That's one of your colleagues. That's. Uh, it is. Uh, is that the? Is that the X5? Which one? Which one's that? Oh, X3. Tunnel, How are you doing? You're right. Yes, you're right. Not bad, mate. All going to good. Body cam on, just so you know, yeah. Thank you very much for letting me know. I appreciate that. Three one three seven five. Three seven five. PC. That's right. Three seven five. Yeah. What can we do here? Uh, basically, we've come down just to find out a bit of bit of information just about the about the tunnels. Um, just have a chat with yourselves, really, because uh, it's very unusual for a police force to cover a tunnel. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of an. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I mean it is, but obviously it's 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 not just sort of the police inside of like you know you've got the the safety elements, yeah, the breaking yeah. down elements and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's a lot more to it than just sort of like police control. Because I know it. Well, I, I imagine it, you guys working on the tunnels does ease pressure off Merseyside police anyway. Yeah, I mean we support each other. Yeah, yeah. We support yeah. each other, you know. So imagine if there was a major incident in the tunnels, the Merseyside police might be called down as well. Yeah, depending on the level. Yeah. So. Yeah, depending on what. Not going anywhere. Yeah, no worries, mate. This bit though is private mm -hmm. property. That's the point. Yeah, yeah. So with that, yeah. there's no signage and the gate was yeah. left wide no, open. We'll, we'll bring so. that up, but yeah, but no this worries, is yeah. private property and on the other side of the barrier is public. So do, do, you think that, do you think if you could you could arrange to get a sign put there to say no public access or something like yeah, that, just to, just to make sure that people, that people know that... Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, because otherwise, otherwise people would people would see an open gate and they'd see an implied right of access. If somebody wants to get some photos, because it's quite historic as well, people, somebody might walk in here and they'd be like. Say someone took so. the body and they got trouble. Oh, yeah. So the money's got lost in the slot or something like that. You can press a help button. And the help button. Do you know, when, when did the force actually like start? What, what year was it? You know, so, 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 and then if you look so, on top yeah. of the barrier, you'll so, see yeah, the off-site. Yeah, uh, I imagine it goes back all the way. So are you are you all trained the same way as most most like territorial forces by the College of Police in? Is that is that so yeah, you are into the so you, you follow the same codes of practice as actually uh, so same with the same with the body worn video policies like as your colleague let me know who's recording yeah 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 exactly so so I, I can see that you are following the college of policing codes of practice but um, but you but you you do operate. You do operate a different jurisdiction to. Yeah, we do. Yeah. It, 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 it so on our jurisdiction is kind of like the approach and roads and things like that. Yeah. And obviously the tunnels themselves. Confrontational situation. But it's not necessarily to get on there. As I'm aware, vehicles aren't allowed to overtake in the tunnels. Vehicles aren't allowed to overtake in the tunnels, are they? I mean, you can pass. Pass. You can park cross lanes. So if you change lanes, you'd have to stay. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to yeah, stay so in that lane. Right. So if you, you, so if you were to overtake someone and merge back into that lane, you'd be in breach of the. You'd be in breach of the bylaws. So if you were to overtake someone in the tunnels and then you were to merge back into the into the lane you were originally in, that would be in breach of the bylaws. So it'd be a bylaw offence. What what is the penalty for for breaching the bylaws then? Um, well, obviously it kind of works the same yeah. as like in really? a um, traffic ticket, you know, like speed, it's bad yeah. type oh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. You have like a uh, 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 offer don't be first, you too, but yeah. then I think the maximum penalty in the court is about to you. Yeah. Same, seems quite standard because with the railways, they've got, railways have got some bylaws as well, so I know they... If somebody trespasses on the railways, that's a thousand pounds fine. It's the same sort of, same sort of thing. Yeah. The gate would open and start If you get a side on it, if the gate's shut, there's a side, then we can't. Uh, it doesn't have to be a bad box, it just has to be closed. Yeah, no worries. And then we can't come in. Mm -hmm. So it, it's sort of like just, um, well, it's educational for you guys as well, because we're, we're not here to patronise you, because you do it for a living. I'm just going to get a quick photo with your car as well. X3, it's nice. 20 plate X3. Oh, that's a nice car, that is, to be fair. No, I meant, have you seen any old I'll definitely look at booking on the tour though, if, if, yeah, if, if this kind of stuff floats your boat, yeah, yeah. it is quite interesting. Oh definitely, definitely. I've actually been on the tour. I saw so I saw right in the tunnel, that was the most incredible bit. Yeah. Where you can actually where you actually step out and you can look out and yeah, yeah. look out into yeah. the tunnel. Was, and that was quite busy, I believe there was a match going on, so there was all slow traffic going all the way through the tunnels. Yeah, yeah it gets busy on a match day. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Because imagine uh, there'll be loads of people coming across from the Wirral as well. Let's say if uh, Liverpool or Everton are playing yeah, as well. Over Wales, everything. Oh wow, that's mad, that's mad. But yeah, North Wales is literally like Yeah, but well, it's not far, is it? Yeah, it's not, it's not far at all. I got to turn there by prison officer. Where in Northern Wales? Ditch of Pete Burwood. How was your filming and stuff? Yeah, but I wasn't in car park, mate, so he had no right to, to, to tape it. So, I were a visitor. Hmm. But there's another guy over getting sued, so it's all good. Yeah, so good. You, good. you guys have been really good. They've been, uh, you've been all, fantastic, all, all gonna, to be fair. Well, we are. We're not going to take any more in time, but I'm sure you're really busy. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to check the flight restrictions on the area. We are going to fly a drone. Uh, we're not. We're not. We're over the drone regulations and stuff, and what we can and can't do. It is not going to cause a distraction to anybody around here. We're not even going to see it. From the yeah, obviously you'd have to be the other side of the barrier. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah we're not going to take off from when here. It, if there's anything that I'm not, I'm not going to pretend that I know it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm for one, when you think I'm going to have a drone next day. <laughs> Um, so I'm, not, I'm also not anti-drone, you know what I mean? So I understand that, if, if that's what you do. Yeah. Um, 
we'll probably get some more information from you know from Mercy's Travel and from our bosses and, and if there is anything that I need to make you aware of, mm -hmm. I'll come and find you. Well that's no good for you yeah. because then you know about the future. Yeah exactly. Yeah. If, if anyone else turns up with the drone, yeah, yeah. you know what we're doing. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it's gonna be what we do have, we have had drones, you know, we we filled our own for you know for mm. sort of like you know advertising reasons, yeah, yeah. overhead shots. Well I I took one over Mercy um on the bridge of the week. You know, on the side of Lincolnshire. Yeah, I, I thought, don't know it. I sort of stopped off before I went through the toll of it. I pulled up in a bus stop. I've got a criminal offence, it's actually a traffic, traffic management out of the fence, so... Anyway, I parked there, bus stop, who cares? Got a drone, you know, it's a very documentary on the bridge. Flew it over the bridge, back in it, it'd be amazing. Really good shots. All of the water and stuff, it's like, you know, a big bridge in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back the yeah, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, we'll, uh, right yeah, we'll say, leave him hey, to it. You're going to go to 120 feet, metres, are you? Yeah, I'm going to try and get, try and get up. Uh, I mean, it depends, it depends on the on the wind, really. Some more of your colleagues are turning up. Right? high as we're legally allowed. To, that'll, that'll be our sergeant. Oh, that's yeah. your sergeant, is it? Right, you might have a bit of a clue about the drones. Right, it's 120 metres, 400 feet, so nobody down here is going to see it. Where, where are you looking at filming the actual? Yeah, yeah, just so, just o over and then have a look, have a look at the Queensway Tunnel, and then just just bring it back down. Then I'll say if, if, if obviously we find out that there's certain things that you know, mm. can't, I'll, I'll come and find you. Where are you going to be? Uh, just just on the yeah. on, yeah, on, we'll the, on the public the public right way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No worries. We know we can't sit off in front of the property. Yeah. So. Literally, just at the other side. Of the in fact, where's your boundary? Yeah. Well, you find there. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see. You know, it's our boundaries. Many different ways down. Yeah, yeah. Down there, it's all the way down there. Yeah. It is quite wide, but this is a mm -hmm. this is a this is a street. So if we stand here, we're okay. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. No worries. No problem. Thanks, constable. Well, it's good to see how professional you are, though, really. No problem, mate. Yeah, we're not here to antagonise. No. You know, if there's anything we can help. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I appreciate that, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I've, got, try, try I've, got, I've got a lot of fans in the yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of subscribers in the world. I've been here with the loads of times. Lovely city. But I did an HGV training course up here. That's Kirkby, what? Near Kirkby. Now, like industrial stuff. Oh, Kirby. Kirby, yeah, that's the one, yeah. Um, I've done a documentary on uh, James Bulger, but that was private for some of it. And what the fuck this all the way around Bootle and to the Strand and stuff. And uh, I had a really good interaction with some hobbies up at Bootle Police Station. Yeah. Uh, they were sound. Took piss out of me a little bit, but I laughed it off because they were really nice. He said, you kind of, do you know what he says to me? He says, you look like a budget version of Spider Man. You know, with your mask and your hat and everything. It's red as well. And I, and yeah, it was red, and I just sort of laughed it off. And yeah. Oh, nice guy, you can tell me what, so. There's, uh, there's no need to get funny no. about stuff like that. That's exactly, yeah, exactly. So. Right, Chief, we'll leave uh, we'll to it then. No, 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 yeah, you, you never know, something might, something might kick off in the tunnels, you don't know, do you? Yeah, that's it, yeah. So well, you yeah, always got to be there. If you need us, we'll, we'll just be there. Yeah, right, literally going to be out there, all right? Take care, take care of yourselves. I'm on till late tonight, mate. Uh, late tonight. Hope it's not too rough for you. Yeah. So, I mean, I hope you don't mind me asking, but I mean, sort of, what are you doing between like? Well, you respond to stuff, so you can you can you can have there's all kinds of stuff goes on. You, you know, one day you can be literally dealing with something where somebody you know needs a rest, and you have to spend most of the day around the bride while dealing with stuff, gathering evidence. You have an underway where you literally just supporting traffic or showing a presence mm. to control mm. this tunnel. But obviously, if we get, a, if we get a, an incident in this tunnel during peak time, it causes absolute mayhem because it's a main junction route between the you know the Wirral and the North West and Liverpool city centre. We need to keep the traffic flowing. Mm. So sometimes you just need to be a presence there because you need to pull someone out, people break down. It's just a slight little bump can cause chaos. So Do you if ever, we can get there. Have you ever had, like, piss heads walking through the tunnel on the night? Oh, and yeah. Stuff? Have you? <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't surprise me to be honest. Lock them up and drop them in. <laughs> not necessarily lock them up. We have to deal with obviously everyone as we see them as an individual. I'm gonna have a smoke. I'm not. I'm not like hiding my face from you guys. Um, no. You know, like when we go around. I'll, uh, I'll move my camera away from you then, Kev. Yeah, yeah, you know why like, you get the protection of building like windows and stuff like that. Yeah, don't get that from me. You don't have to put your face into a problem. That's all it is. I'm talking to a governor at um, HMP Southern last week. And it's like, uh, oh, well, there's, there's no reflections around here, and you're still hiding in the face. I'm like, no, I'm not there. So I took it off the front, I said, I'm not up front, I'm not on the 
skate park mate, I said, I'm not, I'm not wanted bike players, I'm not allowed to ride there. And I said, I, I literally just play it for that reason. And a lot of people think we do it to, to look suspicious. Well, it does add to that. I mean, that's why I put, you know, you say you make a decision on why you put your camera on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I come up and I see your face is covered, they're going to put my camera on because I don't know what I'm dealing with. Yeah, that's, that, that, know, so understandable, that, yeah. You know, it, it does make people look at things differently, doesn't mm. it? Yeah, so if you ever see, uh, if you ever see any of us guys with, with masks on, that, that's, uh, that's mainly, main reason. Just for the future, because I don't know, I don't think you've dealt with anyone like us from, I anyone from social media, no. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a, well, that's the thing. I mean, other forces who should know what we're doing come out with aggression. Uh, you have officers coming out with aggression, making up laws, things like that. And you've come out being polite and you've let us know that your Stop body wants recording, so. Go, you? Do you know what it is, mate? That's right. I went Huddersfield, and I just told you, our colleague, I went Huddersfield a couple of weeks ago, go up, uh, cars and vans parked on the pavement. Now, it doesn't matter if you're the police, you're not above the law. Both sides of the road, a lot of people are walking onto the, the road to get past them and back onto the path. So I'm taking pictures of the ball because I'm thinking, right, I'm going to go to the front office and then maybe send these to IOCP and see if they can bloody investigate it. Because someone needs to it's, it's not right, is it? We've got a yard. An inspector came out and started making loads of laws up, saying you can't take pictures of police buildings, you can't take pictures of police cars, you can't do this. And I'll flabbergasted. Uh, I would jaw drop, mate, with, with the amount of crap what were coming out of his mouth. And he were an inspector. You, you wouldn't think it, would you? I've spoken to PCSOs. I'm not going to comment on With more intelligence. No, no, no. Obviously, I know you can't comment, but yeah, and he nicks me. He nicks me. Because I, I called, I walked away from him because he were getting on my nerves. I went, do you know what? I said, you're an absolute bucket. And I walked away from him. He, he arrested me for public order. This will make you piss yourself laughing when you go back there. Harassment, alarm and distress. Because I called him a muppet. And that's the thing, police are supposed to... That wouldn't even that wouldn't even meet the threshold for public order for a member of the public. And police are supposed to have a higher tolerance to towards harassment, alarm and distress than uh, general members of the public as well. well that's, so it's... That's uh, through when I caught, didn't it? Yeah, about, exactly. About uh, police not being able to feel alarmed and distressed. Uh, it's not that they don't feel it. What the legislation says is that it's, they've got a much higher threshold. That's what it says. Yeah, they so. can feel it, obviously, the human out there, but that, yeah. It that depends, is. it depends the sort of action. If you're starting getting violent and threatening them, that, that's when it becomes, it meets the threshold for an, op, for yeah. an officer. Yeah, but if, if you just say, if you just call, say something like, I call him a muppet, it's not, it's, it's not a public order offence, you know, that's the point. Yeah, exactly. There's 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 criteria to meet for that sort of there's a criteria to meet for a public order offence. If if you if you say something as harmless as calling them a muppet, it's it's not criteria for a public order offence even with a member of the public. So that's. Uh, I'd like to leave it to it. You're all right. Yeah, all yeah, fine. Yeah. Thank you. We'll speak to some Appreciate. colleagues and I'll crack on, and then obviously mm -hmm. I'll say if there's any issue, we'll come and we know. Yeah, we'll come. yeah, no worries. We'll be even. Yeah, uh, appreciate what's your it. Name again? What, your name? My name, Lee. 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 Yeah, I'm Been really respectful, mate. Really decent. So, thank you for that. Yeah, no worries. Nice to meet you, Lee. Take care, mate. There we are. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Really good interaction, believe there. I can't remember his calling number, but I, uh, honestly, uh, some of these, like some of the. Some of the more spe private and specialist police forces actually seem more professional than the territorial forces. Yeah, well, I have got his collar number on record, but um, I can't remember. Hmm. I, I don't think you have, but I've had quite a few engagements with like British Transport Police and Ministry of Defence Police, yeah. things like that. Do you know what? I've, I've never had an interaction with BTP. Really? They've got, a, they got a, a station in Leeds? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to pay it a visit because I've got hmm. a guy who wants me to go. And Bra um, Bradford's got one as well. Who is it who so. wants me to go visit? Police station. Hmm, you should do BTP because uh, BTP I've had engagements mostly in Wales actually. I've had engagements with them at Cardiff. Uh, they were a bit funny at Cardiff actually. They started bringing it, making up bylaws as I said before. And then um, there was a PCSO for the British Transport Police at Newport and he was brilliant. He was like, look mate, tell you what, I'll go and tell them that what you're doing is perfectly lawful. That's, what, that's exactly what he said. And that was, I, I said, thank you so much for that, that's fantastic. As you, know? you can see, guys, they are still discussing what they're going to do about us, so we are going to get the drone out now, and uh, yeah. Yeah, if, we, if we come back, get more interaction, I'll come back to you guys. 
There we are. See you guys in a bit. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Seemed alright, I don't know about the sound. GoPro's just stopped, I don't know why. I think the cards, I think the cards are out, I suppose. Is it? Cards full, yeah. Alright right, guys, cards full, so we're gonna bring the drone down. So yeah, Mersey Tunnels police are going now. They've just left. The other coppers just gone over there. So yeah, guys, that was the um, Mersey Tunnels police. Fantastic, yeah. MCP. So yeah, guys, we're going to wrap this one up now. So we're going to literally, for the next location, guys, we're just going to walk up the road. So that has been Mersey Tunnel Police with uh, Auditing Yorkshire. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you all in the next one.